Um, thank you, Judy. Thank you very much, Susan. I appreciate that. Anyone else? Anybody would like to introduce themselves? Um, hi, Judy. Hi, Rosling. Hi. Um, I don't know if my can be able to see me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hi. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Rosalind Mogo. I'm an associate at Dentons Hamilton Harrison and Matthews. Um, happy to be here. My expectation for the 2024 governance course is essentially just to learn more about internet governance and echoing Susan's um, sentiments also to network with our fellow minded people. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. Welcome. Anyone else would like to introduce themselves? Hi, Judy. Hi. Yes, my name is, my name is Michael. I'm from FMU. Could you please Cynthia, could you please mute yourself? Thank you. Sorry, Michael, go ahead. Thank you. So uh, once again, my name is Michael Mugu. I'm a legal counsel at Airtel Money Group. Um, my expectation is, uh, as, as my peers have just mentioned, to have a good understanding on how internet governance works, uh, public policy, and uh, most importantly, networking with uh, everyone in this call. So thank you very much for organizing this. Thank you. Welcome, Michael. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Namarome. I'm an intern at Kiktanet and I'm in the communications and gender department. And I'm really excited to learn about internet, internet governance and to network with everyone. Welcome, yeah. Namarome, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Cynthia. My name is Cynthia Chumutai. I'm a lawyer and a legal researcher working for Safe Online Women Kenya. I'm excited to be here to learn more about internet governance, to network, and to get opportunities from this session. Thank you. Welcome, Cynthia. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Musa. Uh, yeah, so my name is Musa Abubakar. I'm a cybersecurity master student at uh, Mount Kenya University. And I've been in the trust and online trust and safety industry, that is internet enforcement specifically, uh, for about four years. Mm -hmm. uh, content moderation, policy enforcement, and mm -hmm. things like that. So I'm here to to learn more and also network with other mm -hmm. colleagues. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abu Bakr. Welcome. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Okay. Catherine, then Eleanor. All right. Thank you, Judy. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Judy. Good morning. Good My morning. name is Catherine. My name is Catherine Sila. I am an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. I'm a practitioner. Um, I'm so glad to be part of the 2024 cohort. My expectation is that uh, I would like to understand internet governance from a more practicable perspective and also understand the cyber space players and how they participate and how conflicts are resolved. And most importantly, also to. Catherine, move like, this. move like this towards the mic. Oh, sorry, you cannot hear me. Okay, try again. My name is Catherine Silla. You can hear me right now. Uh, closer, please. Oh, 
let me work on my internet then I, I all right all right all right elena go ahead good morning everyone my name is elena wambua i'm excited to be part of the 2024 cohort I am a lawyer, come public relations practitioner, um, who is key actually in the process of merging the two. So I'm excited to learn about internet governance and I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Welcome, Elena. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my good name morning, is Monday Monday. Maniki. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, I'm an advocate and a partner at uh, Mundu Moirai and I head up the technology media and telecommunications department here. Um, I am excited to be a part of the classic uh, 2024 cohort um, and I'm also looking forward to learning about the intricacies of internet governance um, and to have interesting conversations with everyone on here. Thank you. Thank you, Munda. Welcome. Yes, Good George. morning, everyone. Good morning, um, hi, everyone. Yeah, um, my name is Joy Nashipai. I'm here to, I'm an advocate and a company secretary at a daily group, and I'm looking forward to learn more about internet governance as well as network with everyone. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome, Joy. Noreen, can we see you? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We would also really love to see you. Can you can see me? me? Yes, so we can hear and see you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. My you name is Nuzi I'm from a think tank called Africa, Africa Center for People, Institutions, and Society. And I'm delighted about um, learning more about internet governance. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Good morning. My name is Lindsay Orico. I work with the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, and I'm very excited to be here. My work centers, uh, or I work within the digital space and internet governance and policies and everything that comes with it, it's going to be very beneficial to me. So thank you so much, Internet, for this opportunity. Welcome, Lindsay. Good to have you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Celestine. Can we see Unfor you? Unfortunately, I may not put on my video. Okay. I am in the but I am happy to be here. I'm an okay. advocate. I am big on the data, AI space and everything on internet governance. So I am happy to be here. Yeah. And forward to learn. Thank you guys for your opportunity. Thank you very much, Celestine. Uh, Noreen, could you please mute one of your devices? Thank you. Anyone else? Hi, everyone. Hi, Ma. My name is Eto Nyango. Well, I'm from the Ministry of Interior under the State Government of Peace and Building Conflict Management Office. Okay. So, basically, mm -hmm. the solution and con peace building around the world mm -hmm. across the country. And I'm so excited to be here. I'm also a digital creator. So, thank you for this opportunity and I hope that I'm going to learn more about digitalization because right now peace is working towards digitalizing everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad to know more about internet governance and yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Welcome. Yes, Laura. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my name is Laura Kwamonyo and uh, I work for a company called Olitech. I'm doing business development for them. Uh, but I've been in the IT space for quite a number of years now. And um, I think it's about time I need to understand more on internet governance because we're using the internet every day. We keep using this tool, but we don't know what the governance is around it. And <laughs> cybersecurity has become the, <laughs> the in thing right now. 
So it's about time I sell what I can also understand and I, uh, I know what regulations fall around it. And I'm also very much interested in networking and uh, learning from everyone else who is on uh, this particular cohort. So looking Thank forward you. to these learnings. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Laura. We look forward to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, wonderful. Anybody else would like to introduce themselves? Hi, my, my name is Gloria Arabi. I'm a freelance journalist and master's student at Aga Khan University. And like most of my colleagues, I'm also here to learn about internet governance and to network. Thank you. Thank you, Gloria. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Adhyambo. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. I'm currently doing research. I'm interested in human rights practice, and I'm equally interested in learning about uh, digital rights, data protection, privacy, artificial intelligence. So when I saw this opportunity, I decided to join so that at least I can have a foundation and uh, mark my path as I go. So I'm also interested in networking with uh, people uh, within this space and beyond. And yeah, I hope to learn a lot. I'm here to learn and unlearn. Yes, thank you. Welcome, welcome, Cynthia. You are definitely in the right place. I can assure you. Hi, guys. Hi. My name is Onombu Anzuki. I am an advocate in High of Kenya. Um, part of the reason why I wanted to take part in this cohort is because I have had the opportunity to sit um, in a technical working group towards the end of last year, uh, early this year, by the Media Council of Kenya to develop ethical guidelines on AI, social media use, and data governance. And I am just looking forward to having a build-up of how that internet space works and in terms of policy, what what is it that we need to be looking at and how we can capitalize on some of the opportunities in that space. I'm looking forward to interacting with all of you and it is a great pleasure to be part of this program. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mumbo. Welcome. Anyone else? Twahir, can I hear you? Linda, we can't hear you. Not in any Oh, yes. The last can one you hear me? Can. Yes, now we can. Oh, morning. Apologies for that. My name is Linda Duji. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. I practice uh, litigation and commercial and corporate and commercial. Um, although my interests are in intellectual property, data protection, and internet governance, as the previous speakers have said, I look forward to learning and networking and hopefully making a career transition. Wonderful. Welcome, Linda. Anyone else? Want to go? we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, move a little bit closer. Can you hear me? Can you hear okay. me now? Try, try. Can you hear me? You're breaking. Good morning. Good morning. Good 
Who's, who is speaking? Wanjiko? Are you breaking? All right. Anyone else would like to introduce themselves as Wanjiko sort out a uh, As Wanjiko sorts out her network. Wanjiko, you can type for us uh, the intro in the chat. It's a challenge for you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Good morning. Yes, we can hear Am you. Am I audible? Yes. Wanjiko, we can hear you. All right. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so my name is Wanjiko Nganga. Um, I work with CBT Kenya on the um, digital space. CBT is a mental health organization. I'm looking forward to um, learn the necessary skills to actively engage in the discussion forums uh, in concerning internet policy. And I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, Anjiko. Good to have you. Um, I have three minutes to go. So who wants to take the opportunity to introduce themselves? Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Beverly. Yes, my name is Beverly, as has been mentioned. I am an advocate at Simba and Simba Advocates. I am interested in digital rights and data, data governance. So I am glad to join this cohort because I look forward to learning more about the governance space and regulation for users particularly. So yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Beverly. Welcome. Wow, I have a lot of lawyers in the house. I have a lot of lawyers in the house, which is really good. Um, yes, I know there's a topic that will really interest you, but I hope that even the others will be able to grasp. Okay, so I can see some people typing in the chat. Anyone else wants to introduce themselves verbally? Hello? Yes, Nick. Yes. Uh, hey, Judy and everybody. Hi. Yes, my name is Nick Mutembe. Uh, I'm an advocate working as in-house counsel at Java House. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. I think uh, all has been said by the other colleagues, so it's just matter of learning uh, and learning and relearning as well as networking with fellow professionals and just yeah steering seeing the way forward and i like what uh miss linda said that possibly also you can have a career transition out of this particular forum so let's see how it's gonna go thank you wonderful thank you thank you very much nick yeah sure let's see how that goes mm -hmm. can i hear another male voice I'm free. Can I hear you? Okay, Ken Buki. Good morning, Judy and everyone here. My name is Ken Buki. I am the business intelligence analyst at Moringa School, but I also do part-time uh, lecturing at KCA University in the School of Technology. Happy to be here to learn more about internet governance and network with uh, these legal minds that are represented in this room. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ken. We appreciate that. Uh, Sean? Uh, now it's known, yeah? Good afternoon. My name is uh, Sean Andabu. I'm an advocate <laughs> of the High Court of Kenya. <laughs> Advocate of the High Court of Kenya, practicing with the firm of uh, Chaudhry and Associates Advocates. Uh, I'm just curious to learn about the governance and policies around the internet because I'm also 
have a keen interest on data protection, which I just undertook a, a short course recently, and this will be a plus to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. Welcome. More comments? I saw you online. Daniel. Hi. Hi, Judy. Hi. Yes, this is more comment. I, I, I am a lawyer uh, practicing currently as in-house Java, uh, Java House Af Africa. I, like most of my legal colleagues, I am interested in the field of data protection, cybersec, and internet governance. So the opportunity to learn that Casey uh, Kicktonet has offered uh, is much welcomed. So I'm looking forward to interacting with you, learning from you, and possibly networking. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel. You're very welcome. And welcome to everybody else. Um, if you've not had an opportunity, you can go ahead and do that in the chat or even in the WhatsApp group. I hope that all of us have been able to join that. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, Rosemary Kimwatu um, to give us the opening remarks. Rosemary. You can hear me? Yes. Uh, perfect. How are you all? Uh, I think it's a, a good, uh, fantastic day to see all of you here. And actually, uh, for, from a selfish perspective, it's good to see very many advocates who are joining and the people with different interests from internet governance, uh, data protection. And for me, just to say a big, big uh, thank you. I'm Rosemary Quetch, a trustee at Kicktonet and also the chair lady of the multi-advisory group, the MAG, that, organized, uh, that will organize this year's Internet Governance Forum. Uh, I think why why then is this um, important? Why are you are you here? I think the key things is to understand internet governance. I've heard a number of us from diverse uh, industries say that you want to understand how do how do things work. Uh, you want to get um, how, how how what what impact does internet governance have on a day to day life? It has a huge impact. It has an impact on the interpretation of the things you do, the work you do, even your day to day jobs. Um, whether you like it or not, you're using technology for one thing or another. And an understanding of this core concept will actually awaken you to to, to different uh, ways of looking at things. And I think for me, it's so important. Um, it also contributes to the masses who are um, who are going to contribute to policy. So we are actually doing this to build a critical number of people who can speak to the issues that impact uh, your work, uh, that impact your day-to-day -day lives, whether whether you're employed, that, that you can actually make reasoned decisions on internet governance issues, moving all the way from data issues, data protection, yes. to, content, to all sorts of um, issues that you can discuss. And I must say that we have an amazing alumni of uh, of students who have been part of, uh, of this school and have been able to really progress towards advancing their careers in ways in which now internet governance becomes their their day-to-day -day work. So the other thing, of course, is to have you uh, make sure you have the adequate skills to participate. And having the adequate skills means that you're able to contribute uh, from a point of knowledge to internet governance discussion. So as you go throughout your school moving forward, you'll be able to contribute from a point of understanding. And then, of course, uh, opportunities for you to get to know each other. I think as cohorts, you get to network, you get to meet each other. And I think it's such a pleasure when you when you build um, companionships and bonds that will you know guide you through the internet governance space. And finally, uh, it's a way to give back to the to the to, to those who are actually actively practicing for them to understand what are the emerging issues. So it's two way. It's not just for you to learn, but you also get to share what your experiences are based on what you've learned to help build the knowledge of what are the emerging issues. And of course, it's a great, great welcome. I think we've run this school consistently. Judy, this is what, um, we've had quite a number of editions from 2016 oh, when nine. we did the first one. It, this is a ninth. Nine. Yes. Cohort nine, yeah, cohort nine. And I can't believe how time flies. We first had our first cohort in 2016 and time has really flown. But let me tell you one thing it has been, we have seen exactly how the industry has grown, how the internet governance space has grown, and even how students here have moved to contributing to, to shaping policy. I'll, I'll mention a few names. 
for example, Masi Sumbi. Masi Sumbi was our was our, was our student here at Kesik. She's gone ahead to have among the largest suits in the world against big tech. Uh, we have uh, people like Tevin Mwenda, who now leads policy discussions in places like GIZ. Uh, we have uh, all sorts of people. We have Keith Andere, who now runs the Youth Internet Governance Forum. We have Francis Monyango, who's the head of data protection at Old Mutual Group. So as as, as you move ahead, the alumni is just a, a mix of so many people. We even have uh, our own teacher, Karis, who's going to be taking you through uh, through through the classes. He's an alumni of Kesik and look at him now. He's going to be running uh, this. So it's just for me to say a big congratulations on being selected. Wishing you an amazing uh, few weeks as you study and give it your best. And and I'm I'm sure that um it'll never be the same again after this. I, I, I can attest to this. I have been training from 2016 uh, different cohorts um, and we're just happy to open this up to all of you and actually ask you to even subscribe to the list, join the mailing list, contribute to governance conversations, contribute to all sorts of policy discussions, including even data protection and uh, wishing you all the best as you get started. Asante ni sana and we welcome you to this Karibu. Thank you very much, Rosemary. Um, for those remarks indeed even the names that you mentioned um we will have some of them in our industry session on the first day so yes so that is in the pipeline as they just come on board and just share for those that were able to make a <clears throat> career transition for those that uh, Casey just built onto what they already have so yes um it's a real one uh, we talk, of course, of what we've done and what we can be able to see. So without much, much, I will share with us the calendar, the course calendar, so that we can be able to look at uh, what it is we are looking at in the next coming three weeks. I can tell you for a fact, it's going to be a very, very busy, week weeks ahead uh, but let's look at uh, this you're sharing okay all right i hope all of us are able to see my screen can we yes we can see it, judy thank you yes we can see it thank you yeah so um Today, the 7th of June, um, we are having the induction. Uh, the meet and greet, it wasn't Barack. The opening remarks, it wasn't Grace, but I they've been well done. So I will take us through the course calendar. And then uh, Teacher Karis, uh, as we call him, his official names, I think in the ID is Calvin Karioke. But we call him Teacher Karis. Uh, will be able to take us through the e-learning portal. Uh, one thing I would like to request us, if if this is the first time that you are learning through an online platform, uh, please let us know that in the chat so that uh, we can be prepared into the next session on how to on how to take that. Sometimes we could assume that everyone has used an online platform and maybe you haven't. Uh, so that uh, teacher Karis can take note even as he takes us through that. So today uh, we will be introduced into the e-learning platform. We will all have accounts and we will be able to log in and see how uh, the platform looks like. And then we will be able to open up the, the course material. So next week on Monday of the 10th, we will be reading about the evolution of internet so we will be expected to complete the course objective by reading the content uh, response. There is a chat forum that you are supposed to respond to and then complete the assignment. So that we have said at the participants scheduled time, but please make sure that you do this before the midnight of Monday, because once midnight hits, then uh, 
that particular course will be closed and now people will be into um, lesson two on the internet design. So we will have uh, a topic to cover a forum chat and assignment to complete uh, for the first three days. There's a topic every other day. And then come Thursday, we will have a Zoom session um, with our senior, Mr. Walubengo, from 4 to 5 p.m., which is also a mandatory. We shall do an overview of the course. Um, we shall look at what we have covered and what we are yet to cover. And so because uh, Mr. Walubengo is key in the, in the content creation, if there's a question that you will ask that is already in the in the course, um, he will guide you on that. If it's not, then he will be able to just uh, uh, answer you. And then come Friday, there is another lesson also on national and transnational organizations, roles in governan governing the internet. That's, a, co that's a, a topic that you have to cover on Friday. Make sure you respond to the forum chat and complete the assignment. So we will try to be as flexible as possible, meaning that we will leave the, um, the courses during the weekend, that if there was something that you did not, or you did not get the time to cover, you will be able to cover. But you will not be able to jump into lesson three if you haven't completed something in lesson one. So you have to complete everything that is expected of you in lesson one before you get into lesson two. But our hope is by the time we are getting into the following week of Monday the 17th, uh, you will be through with every activity up to lesson four. So on the midnight of Sunday 16th, the week two lessons will be opened up for us um, to be able to do. Um, so we will have the private sector passive observer or active contributor lesson five, data privacy and protection lesson six on Tuesday, Wednesday, we will have some key global internet governance issues on Wednesday. And then on Thursday of that week of the 20th, a mandatory session a 4 to 5 p.m. A Zoom live session. Um, that will be a meetup between the faculty and the participants. And uh, we will share as time goes on what it is that we will do um, during that session. After that, on Friday, you have um, the topic on AI. This is an added uh, lesson. Uh, from the last uh, other 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 cohorts, and so it's an interesting one. Um, so I I request that please take time to to read it. Right now everything is going AI. Everyone is talking about AI. It would be good if you get this this grounding. So once you're done with that uh, on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because you will have that open until Sunday, then there's a course feedback survey that you are also meant to complete uh, by, by that Sunday of, uh, that will be 23rd, is it? Yes, by 23rd. So the following week, on the third week, on week three, we will have what we call the, um, the sessions. We will have online sessions on a day to day, by the industry speakers, we call them industry uh, speakers, people who've been uh, part of um, the internet governance uh, from various uh, uh, perspectives. So on that Monday, we begin from 9 a.m. all the way to 12 p.m. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week 24th, 25th, 26th, we will have sessions every day from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And we will have different speakers 
um, during those sessions. Uh, we will have the likes of uh, uh, Dr. Steve Crocker, for those who know him, uh, guiding us through evolution of, of internet. Um, uh, just as I said, we will have the alumni uh, just discuss their impact on, on CASIG. So we will fill in this. I'm sure by the time we get there, there will be names uh, that you will be able to see. So on Tuesday, we will have Honorable Masi Wanjao um, joining us. So this is your best opportunity. Um, these are guys that you may not uh, rub shoulders with every day. So please come that uh, you can engage with them online. Uh, so we will have Honorable Masi Wanjao. We will have engineer um, Daniel Obam and uh, the private sector, we will confirm that, uh, who will be joining us. And then on the Wednesday, we will have the online gender-based violence uh, by Kicktonet. Uh, we will have an overview of the AI uh, by Mr. Walubengo. And then on data protection and privacy by Ms. Rose Mosero. And then we will close on that, uh, Wednesday, the course, and then um, there's a final quiz that you are to do that will be opened on that Wednesday from midday until Thursday at 9 a.m. So you have that time to be able to do that final quiz. Uh, the final quiz, you can only do it once. You only have one attempt. So once you log in to do it, make sure that you have the time to complete it. And that's why we've given you um, time, a good time to, to, to be able to cover that. And then on Thursday, we will have the Kenya Internet Governance Forum, uh, where we will all be able to join in. And at 2 p.m., we will have our official graduation. Yes, that was a mouthful. Can I have any questions? Anyone with a question? Something was not clear. Uh, hi, Judy. Hi, Nick. Yes. So, uh, I just want to see clarity. I, you, if you can, could kindly just go up. I think to week two or week one. Uh, there's something you mentioned. I'm sorry. I think I, I wasn't too attentive at that part. So, when it comes now to to the end of each particular week, you mentioned that. Uh, should there be any lesson which you hadn't completed, you can complete it over the weekend. So I just want to confirm, is that what you said or uh, did I miss something? Because I'm just just uh, like in in the instance, maybe because, you know, most of us are still having this nine to fives. So in yeah. the instance, maybe you would be unable to complete a lesson. And you noted earlier that each lesson, when it hits midnight, you know, the lesson actually automatically closes and now you move to the next so can you just kindly maybe just uh uh repeat uh what you mentioned in like how in in regard now to like catching up in classes which you might have missed at the time when they're supposed to be completed thank you okay thank you um nick yes i said we will leave the platform open for the weekend so that anyone who was not able to complete um their lesson within the week can be able to do so because we are also in cognizant that uh, we are all at work. So if you're not mm -hmm. able to, and then we don't want you to just rush so that you finish because there's also marks within the assignment. So if your marks are too low mm -hmm. and our pass mark is 60%, then you may not be able to get the certification. So we would want you to take time, read, do the assignment, and then move into the next one. So yes, we will leave the platform open um, with the courses in any that someone was not able to complete, but you cannot be able to jump into lesson two if you did not complete lesson one. So you have to go systematically. Okay, yeah, perfect. Thank you, thank you for the clarification. Thank you, Nick. Anyone else with a question?
a clarification? Okay, so my I'm kindly asking whether you can be able to share the recordings of the, especially on, on the last weeks where we are having um, live sessions from morning hours to noon time, uh -huh. owing to the fact that most of the people in this who are attending this course are in the working class. For example, a person could be in court. So I don't know whether you will be able to share those live recordings later on for those who are unable to attend. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mutinda. Yes, we shall make an arrangement, but we encourage uh, people as much as you can, more especially if there's a question that you'd want to ask, you'd want to ask it live because you may not have the opportunity to do it um, outside of that particular class. But we will make that arrangement that everybody we will share it in the WhatsApp group, the recording of the sessions. Thank you. Okay, anyone else with a clarification, a question? All right. Thank you all. Thank you very much for the attention. I would like to take this opportunity to invite uh, teacher Karis to take us through the next session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Judy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Glad to have you here. Congratulations for joining KSIG 2024. <clears throat> Apologies, I have a cold. <clears throat> and therefore, once in a while, you'll be hearing that. I'm really sorry about that. OK, I'm just trying to share my screen while at it. OK. So as uh, Rosemary mentioned, I'm also an alumni uh, of this particular program. And uh, through the years, I've been able to stick with the community and be able to contribute a lot in ICT policy discussions in the country, including the Data Protection Act, which I moderated on the Kick Tunnel list, and many other instances, uh, including the ICT, uh, the proposed ICT uh, regulation, which we opposed, and they're now trying to bring back. So yes, this program works. If you give it your best and you stick to the community, there's a lot that you can do. And just before I begin, I know for the lawyers, governance might be something that they really understand. But for me, who comes from the techies side, I am a teacher at Multimedia University of Kenya. I teach software engineering, and therefore my stakeholder group, so you'll be hearing this a lot, stakeholder, stakeholder group, is academia, academia. <clears throat> so we have different stakeholder groups, and in matters of internet governance, we talk of multi-stakeholder engagements, so yes, we have academia, we have government, we have uh, civil society, civil society. We also have, uh, there are about five, uh, the private sector, private sector. And we also have, uh, this one I keep forgetting, I don't know why, but you're going to learn about them. So for me, I'm from academia and uh, I think we also have the techies, the techies as part of the multi-stakeholder group. So we encourage multi-stakeholder participation in internet governance so that the voice of everyone can be heard from different sectors. And uh, in this, I'm just trying to make clear, especially to people who don't really understand what governance is, by using a very recent example. For many years, we've always heard of the finance bill, but I think we've not heard of it and it has not been contested 
more than what we've seen. Seen happening this year because sorry about that because the constitution gives us the right to participate in our governance mm -hmm. by our leaders they have to do public participation which is a right and enshrined in our constitution so by putting your voice in the policies that our leaders come up with to either improve them or to reject them really matters. And that is the main purpose of this particular course. It's to create new voices into matters internet governance. Just yesterday I saw on the news, the telcos through their group called TestPOC was actually doing a presentation at the finance committee, the parliament finance committee and uh, they were simply raising their concerns on what the proposed digital taxes are going to do in terms of affordability and access to internet uh, services. And I think they made a very uh, good argument. So you can look at the news and even articles online on that. So really governance is, by internet governance, why we are training you on this is so that you can you can have your voice, and indeed your voice is is listened to by by these particular leaders. We've done several presentations to Parliament as Kicktanet, Kenya ICT Action Network, and Kicktanet is the host of this particular course and this particular school, Kenya uh, School of Internet Governance. So one of the things we'll be asking you is to join the Kicktanet list uh, so that you can always be able to be in the know of any contentious issues and also add your voice and your thoughts. But in the voice, uh, thank you so much. Without further ado, again, my name is Karyuki and here, I'm uh, an instructional designer, so I'm the one that curates the content that you're going to be learning <clears throat> at the e-learning platform. So our e-learning platform uh, is one that is used by most institutions in Kenya and indeed around the globe because it's free, it's open source. So it's called Moodle. So some of you might have already interacted with Moodle. So that is what we are using. In this particular uh, session, in the next 10 to 20 minutes, I want to show you how to access our e-learning platform. <clears throat> I also want to uh, show you how to, uh, just the course structure, I'm gonna take you through the, uh, the, Moodle, the Moodle interface just so that you know, then the course structure and uh, how, to, how to do the lessons, the forum chat, the discussion, and the discussion. Okay, minimize this. Uh, and lastly, we also have the assignments. So I hope to show you that. After that, uh, we can have a Q&A and support for anyone who might not have been able to access uh, our platform. So to access, I hope I'm still audible and you can see my screen. Yes, you can. Uh, great, thank you for responding. Okay, so you can always search. Uh, you can always search on Google, for instance. Uh, you can just search casing. Let's see what that brings. Okay, so when you search casing, it should be able to bring. Please note that the site is KIGF, which is Kenya Internet Governance Forum. Forum. Dot or dot ke. So if you click on K Kenya IGF website. 
That is where we are hosted. The e-learning platform is actually hosted there. So you can always click there. Then under KSIG, on the top menu, you can actually see that we have this KSIG. So if you hover above it, you can see e-learning. So you can always click on e-learning. So I want you to do that right now. So go to kigf.or.ke. Uh, kigf.or.ke. So kigf.or.ke. Then after that, you can hover over KSIG. Then you can click on e-learning. E-learning. After that, you should see a link on the top left that asks you to log in if you're there. For the username, you're going to use your email address, the email address you used during registration. For the password, uh, yeah, I think this is KC 2024. So that is the password. So let's try that. The KSIG site is also mobile friendly, so you can also access it over mobile. But I advise that you use your computer if you have one, especially now during the training. Yes, someone has a concern or question? Hello, please. Okay, so someone has a concern? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You said you click onto the um, e-learning part and then after that, um, you username, you put your email that you use to apply for the training. Correct. And then what is the password? Password. As it is displayed in my, as it is displayed on my screen, you can see it. KSIG 2024. Has anyone been able to, has anyone been able to log in to their accounts? Um, <clears throat> hi, hi, Kevin. Hi. Yeah, this is Doreen from Kenick. Yes, I've been able to log in, but it has ah, requested great. me to change my password, which I have. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, hi. I'm logged in. Thank you. Thank you, Doreen. Okay. So, teacher Karis actually changed. Okay. It. <laughs> That's how I call myself. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. So, you'll have to change your password, as Doreen has highlighted, immediately so that no one else can be able to access your account. And your password for privacy concern is actually encrypted. So, we cannot actually see your password uh, from, from the back end. Okay, so just give me a thumbs up. I want to see. Just give me a thumbs up if you've been able to if you've been able to log in to your account so that we can move forward. I can't see any. Please. So on Moodle at the very bottom, we have the is it reaction? Where is it? Can't even see it on my own. But it should have a reaction tab or something. So you should be able to react. And that is one way we can make these sessions interactive by you guys using your reaction uh, to, to do a thumbs up or to share a smiley or to even clap when a speaker has said something that you like. 
Yeah, we normally have reactions. Okay, let me just stop sharing my screen a bit. Just two of us have been, I can see three thumbs up. Please do a thumbs up if you've not been able to, if you've been able to log in to your account, do a thumbs up. You have to do it because we are learning by doing. So you have to do it now. You're not postponing this. You have to do it right away. Uh, great. Okay, okay. Okay, so don't worry if you've not been able to do it. I'll remain back with anyone that is unable to access their account so that I can support them uh, after I'm done with this particular session. So let's move on. Share screen. Okay, so we can go on and look at the Moodle interface. So when you log in, let me just use this Mozilla. Mm -hmm. You should be able to see an interface like this one here. So when you log into your Moodle account, we have uh, almost three parts. We have that part at the very top that I've just highlighted. Then you have a part on your on your left hand side. Then you have the main area, the main area uh, in between. Then we have another area at the very right hand side of your screen. So those are the areas that are there. So I'll be referring to this as a top bar, top bar. Then this as a, maybe you can call it right, because not left, it's on the left left bar. Then this, I can call it the main, the main area. Then this side, I can call it the left, the right, the right, the right bar. If you're not able to see the right, the left bar, most likely it's because uh, of this hamburger icon that is on the very top left corner just before the name KC e-learning. So if you click on it, if you click on it, you'll see it either hides or unhides that bar. Okay, so I'm, I'm not sure what you're able to see, but on the left bar, we have the dashboard. Then we have site home. Then we have calendar. Then we have private files. Then we have my courses. Under my courses, you should be able to see IG, IG underscore 2024. So that's the short name for your course, IG underscore 2024. So right now we are actually on site home. So if you click on site home, you'll see whatever we're seeing here. And in this area, you'll already see the courses that you have been enrolled to. So I've already enrolled you into the IG 2024. What I want you to do right now is to click on IG 2024. If you click on the calendar tab, it shows you all the pending, all the coming assignments or lesson deadlines that you have. So that's the calendar. Private files, here you can upload your private uh, files like assignments uh, so that you can pick them from here when you want to submit them. So that is what private files are for. So you can click on IG 2024. I hope you can see my screen. Judy, can you still hear me and see my screen? Yes, you can see. I'll not be able to yes. keep Yes, up yes. with your chat. So in case you have a problem, just unmute your mic and let me know because I'm sharing my screen. So I cannot keep up with your chat. Eh? 
But thank you for the thumbs up. I can see most of us also did the thumbs up on the message, which I think is cool. Great. Wonderful. Great. So once you're here, on the left bar, you can actually see all the lessons that are there in this particular course on the left bar. So lesson one, the evolution, blah, 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 uh, like that. And in the main area here, you can also see all the lessons and also any announcements from this very top part. We have a forum chat discussion, which we are going to do today before we finish this for introducing ourselves. Uh, and uh, uh, we also have a poll, for example, or a survey on how you learned about the Kenya School of Internet Governance. Then from there, we're going to have lesson one, lesson two, et cetera, et cetera. On the right bar here, we have the progress bar. So Sol is gonna show you, like right now, mine is reading progress 0%. So as you continue to accomplish tasks, then you'll be able to see it update and turn green. So right now they're red, but if you, if you, for example, do lesson one, this is lesson one, if you do lesson one, then you'll see it turn green, at least one of the boxes. Now, each lesson, each, each part or each topic, they're actually topics. So for example, the topic on the evolution of the internet normally has three parts to it. The first part is a lesson, which are just pages like you will read in a book, but might also involve, uh, it might also come with the uh, images, images, so it's it's multimedia or videos or external, external links, or we call them resources that you will suppose to click on and go and read. So for example, this particular topic on the evolution of the internet is very interesting. And for you to get the whole gist of it, you really should not ignore those external links that you're supposed to click and read. So some of them are Wikipedia, wiki files that you're supposed to read. So always make sure you go. So you may find that a lesson is a bit small, but there's, there's a link to more information that you're supposed to read. So always make sure you read those ones. Forum chat discussions are used to, they're compulsory, and they used to just make us appreciate the ideas others have and what they think of the different concepts that we learn uh, at every particular level. And normally we have uh, written assignments that you will be submitting and we will be marking on our end and giving you feedback on how you're performing. These assignments also add up, the grading of these assignments add up to the overall uh, grade. I think Judy, you'll remind us what the pass mark is. I can't remember, but I know there's a pass mark. 60%. <laughs> For you to get a certificate, yes? 60%. Uh, it's a 60%. So you have to take your assignment seriously. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Okay. So, of course, we've seen this. Judy mentioned that we have a compulsory final ass assessment. So that one has, it's a multiple choice question and it has questions from all the topics. Now, for you to be able to access, for example, the lesson one forum chat, you must have completed lesson one. So that's why you're seeing restricted, restricted, restricted. So it simply means for you to do that, you have to accomplish some other task. Uh, so for example, you cannot uh, access, let's talk internet governance before you introduce yourself. So there's no way of skipping some of these things. How you know if an activity is compulsory, uh, if I remember, is if the box is, uh, let me see. Uh, I'm just trying. Okay. If the box, you see here, we have a checkbox on, on the very right end of every activity like this one, let's know each other. So we have that checkbox, this one here. So if the checkbox 
is incomplete, that is the border is dotted, then it means that uh, you have to complete that activity for you to go to the next. You cannot be able to just mark it. You see like this one, I just click on it and I marked it, I marked this activity as complete, which is viewing the program. So you see that activity, I just clicked on it and boom. But for this forum chat discussion on getting to know each other, you have to post, you have to introduce yourself for it to automatically mark itself and update the progress bar. So that's the kind of interesting automation that we've done. What else are we supposed to look at? I see I have a few minutes left. I've already talked about the interface and the course structure. Okay, uh, at this point, I want to take you to the very top, the very top, the top bar here. And on the far right, we have your name. We have your name. Then we have an icon where your image will appear if you've uploaded one. And we also have a down arrow, an arrow that is pointing downwards, that one. So at this point, I want you to click on that arrow. So on the top bar, far right, click on the down arrow. Once you've clicked on that down arrow, I want you to go to preferences. So you have several things you can do there, but for now, I want you to click on preferences. When I was uploading, when I was uploading your, your data to Moodle, I only used two of your names as you typed them in the registration form. But this name will automatically be filled in your certificate at the end. So you need to make sure that you've used the right capitalization and you have your full name here. So that's why I'm saying you need to go to the top bar right now, click on the down arrow on the far right, then click on preferences. After clicking on preferences, the very first link under the user account section is edit profile, edit profile, that one. So click on edit profile so that we can be able to change our name to our official name. Like my alias is teacher Garis, but this is my official name. If I'm getting a certificate from casing, I want it to have this. So it's important that you change it. So click edit profile. Then on the first name field, enter your first name. Please use the correct capitalization. Some people prefer all caps, that is okay, but at least have your name starting with a capital letter so that we don't have a lot of issues with the certificate at the end. Then under the surname field, you can feel free to enter the two other uh, names that you have. Okay, other than that, while still at this, okay, let me just give you a minute to do that. Uh, but I was saying, if you scroll down after entering those names, you must always save for any changes to take effect. So you must scroll all the way down. Then we have an update profile button, update profile. So you have to scroll all the way down and click on update profile. So I hope you've done that. While still at this, we are encouraging all of you to upload your professional photo here. So still under edit profile, we have a section for the user picture. I'm glad that most of us have said that they are here to network, to form new friends, and it will be good to relate uh, a name to a particular face. So that when we meet, for example, during the Kenya Internet Governance Forum, we can be able to know each other. So use a nice photo, probably one that you've used on your LinkedIn profile to, uh, to, to, to upload it here. 
So you can simply drag and drop it here, or you can just click that, then go to upload a file, then go to browse. Then you will be able to get an image that you want to upload. Uh, okay, let me see if I, if I have one that I can use here. So you can pick an image. Then you click on upload this file at the very bottom. So if you pick an image from your computer, you'll see the name of the image there. Then click on upload file. So upload file. After clicking on upload file, you have to click update. Update profile. Update profile. And now we will have your your photo there. So please update those two things. Okay. Still in the spirit of letting new people to know each other and to mingle and to interact and to form new friends and networks, uh, I want to show you about the messaging feature. So again, on the top bar, on the top bar, we have the message icon just before your name. So you can always click on the message icon, then you can search for a password. For example, I, I had a Judy. It was a Judy. I so saw that's spelling Judy. Yeah. Then you press enter, I think. Okay, so I can only see Judy Okite. So I can click on Judy, then I can be able to chat on her. Hello, hello. Uh, I was glad to know that you are working with, for example, Casey. Casey. Uh, and I know you know something like that, then answer. So yes, you can be able to chat with your colleagues and become friends. So no one else would be able to see this, only Judy will be able to see it. Other than that, we might also, as instructors in this course, be able to send you a global message if we want to update you on something. Just before the messaging icon, we have the bell icon. The bell icon is, is uh, for notifications, just like in any other social media site that you've ever used. So if we have anything, then you can always get notifications over there. Okay. What else? I think that is about it. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe I can show you. So this, let's get to know each other. It's simply a forum chat discussion. I want you to see that the icon for let's get to know each other is similar to this lesson one forum chat. So how do you participate in a forum chat discussion? You can click on that particular discussion then after that, you can read about it. So what are they saying? This is the description. Then after that, you can click on reply. Reply. So when you click on reply, you will be able to reply to the main discussion. Otherwise, you can also reply on your colleagues' intro. Uh, for example, we have Ken here, and uh, he works at KCA University, and uh, he's a certified drone pilot, and you want to know more about him. So you can reply. Uh, everyone else that is in this forum discussion will be able to see that conversation. But otherwise, you can feel free to use the messaging to do private discussions. But most of the time, you will need to reply to your colleagues' ideas because we'll be asking you critical questions in those forum chats. And if you like someone else's idea or you don't like it, you differ, you can always click reply on their comment so that you can be able to put your thoughts and discuss with him or her. 
Okay, so that's how you participate in forum chat discussions. Uh, finally, on uploading assignments. Mm, okay, I don't know how to do this. Let me check. If I click on an assignment, like lesson on assignment, we should be winding up. View all submissions, great. Okay, this is my teacher accounts. So that's why I'm seeing that. Can I be able to change, to change my role to a student? Just a moment. I can come here. No, on your profile. On your profile. On my profile. Hi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you for the reminder. Here yeah, and then switch role. Uh, let me just switch my role to a learner. Good. Good. So I can come here. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to access lesson one still. <laughs> That's a problem. I, I cannot be able to access it unless I've completed lesson one and lesson one forum. So I cannot be able to uh, do it. But generally, we've, we've made this lesson, submission of this assignment so easy because you can simply copy text from your, from your Word document to the Moodle. So it just provide you a text area where you can be able to copy and paste or simply type even as you uh, as you're on the go for example on your phone so it's normally going to be a text box then you can always click submit or just shelve it if you're still working on it uh, you can just save temporarily and then you will submit later so that is how assignment submissions uh, really happen okay so i think uh, that is about it. And at this point, I'll welcome your questions. I'll be happy to answer them. So Karibuni Sana. Feel free to just unmute your mic and go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. My name is Taxi Kina. Sorry, I lost you there. My your name, name is? is Catherine. Yes. Okay. I am, I am asking mm -hmm. whether we can download this program because some of us are not. Catherine, are you moving away from your mic? Because sometimes you're loud, no. sometimes you, your voice just disappears. Can you hear me right now? Yes. I am looking for the option to download this program, the course outline. Okay. Catherine, just type it on the chat. Okay. Yeah, type it. Type it on the chat because I can't hear you. It's there on the chat, the Jacarif. Okay, great. Let me check. Thank you. My apologies. Chat, please advise whether we can download the case. So I cannot see that option. Judy, please remind me. This program is in what format? Uh, the, the calendar okay. of the entire lesson. Right. Uh, this one. It, is it a PDF? It's a PDF, right? Um, this program. Kasey, are you able to see my screen, Judy? Yes, yes, I can see it. Yeah, this program is it in? Oh, can PDF? Always, we can only share that on PDF if that is what oh. she's asking. So, I, th I think it's a good suggestion. I'll, I'll also see how I can make it downloadable on your end. I can see it's not very visible here. I don't know why it's so small. Not nice, not nice. Thank you for pointing that out, um, Catherine. Okay, any any person with a question? Anyone else with a question? Hi, this is Beverly. I'd like to ask, are we able to, in the mm. unfortunate incidents that we don't get the 60%, are we able to repeat our assignments? 
Uh, Judy will uh, talk on that. Uh, Miki, tuna, as a semani, pia uko kuna konga na nyuma ya tent. And we listen and we care as long as you show that you're serious. But Judy will be able to talk about that more authoritatively. Judy, please. <laughs> <laughs> we encourage that please take your time to do your assignment. Um, we do consider where uh, probably you started your final uh, quiz and then maybe uh, you lost power, you lost connection, um, which we can also yeah. be able to tell from our end that that is what happened. Then we will give you another, another opportunity. Mm. Um, now, depending on how far you are from 60, if you are uh, at 40 something, we will request that please um, sign up for cohort 10, 2025, and we can do this again. If you are as close as uh, 59 points, then we can consider to allow you to try again uh, the quiz. Uh, what we allow is the final quiz. That is um, where we can um, allow another mm. thing. Yeah, right. thank you. And the quiz actually, the, the quiz accounts for how many percent, Judy, of the total? I think 40. It's actually a big chunk. Is it 30? Uh, it's 30 no, no, I think it's bigger. Yeah. It could be 30 or 40. Uh, I'll have to check. Yeah. Yep. So, yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, we, we will confirm that. Yeah, I'm looking for something in Germany. It's really big time for a career in Germany. Fully funded nursing and hospitality. It's a very good thing to take a chicken and move this. Someone's mic is on mute. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi, Kevin. Hello. Yes, uh, this is Nick Mutembe. I yeah. just seeking clarification on one aspect. So I am just trying to to skim through this particular topic on how did you, uh, what what exactly? Uh, let's talk internet governance. I think that first section about uh, just the section immediately after the introductions. Yeah. So uh, I'm just just scrolling through, and there's a section where it requires us to fill in some kind of responses. However, it's saying that the due date for posting to this forum was on Tuesday, six June, twenty twenty three, and 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 from what I'm seeing, also it's that you can't really advance to the next level until you fill in those particulars. Mm -hmm. Like it's asking somewhere, how did you, where did you learn about Kesik or uh first question is asking what, how do you define internet governance? However, uh, I'm Thank not really seeing any any space uh, through which we can actually post our replies to such questions or prompts. Can you please oh. clarify that? Thank you so much. I've actually just clicked on it and I've seen it. It's a setting that I'll just work out uh, immediately after we are done with this. So thank you so much for okay. bringing Thanks. it to our attention. Perfect, thank you. And just also uh, my second question as well. I remember mm. Judy at the beginning, she noted that, you know, these lessons are scheduled according to, to dates, yeah? Like uh, Monday, there's a lesson one, lesson two on Tuesday. Mm. So just to, just I'm just wondering if if maybe somebody is extremely diligent that they want to do everything, you know, lesson one done, lesson two done. Okay. Can you actually do it all at once or you have to now wait until the lesson goes live? Judy, please. Pardon? Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was who, Mutembe? Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we will open the first um, set of lessons, lesson one to four uh, from today. They will be available. So you will have, you can do your lesson one, two, three, four uh, that is set out for this week. And oh. then um, once we get into the weekend uh, of next week, we open the next lessons for the following week. Great. So uh, essentially, 
it's actually uh, as soon as you open it we can if if you have time you can just do all the lessons uh you know in in succession yeah yeah once once you're done with one go to two okay okay then i think uh that works thank you thank you all right thank you okay so we're already at one or five one very last burning 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 question so that we can release you I saw someone texted that they're not able to log in. No worries, I'll remain back with you. Otherwise, if there's no more question, let me just confirm. Will you be required to attend Casey Week physically? And then yeah, Jeff Week. Mumbua. Judy? Uh, is it the Casey or the KIGF? The Casey. Um... The three days will be online, uh, so we are not really having any 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 physical uh, meetings within Kesik uh, apart from the KIGF. Mm -hmm. KIGF, the Kenya Internet Governance Forum. Yeah. Great, and uh, for the physical attendance of that, we normally select our our best and those ones that have really done the best in this particular course. But someone else is also asking about the graduation, Lillian. For the graduation. What is the mode of participation? For those who are physically there, uh -huh. they will be graduated physically. Those will be online. If you can't attend physically uh, online, we will also use that as part of the All graduation. Right. All right. So it's going to be virtual. It's going to be hybrid. So some people who will be selected to attend the KIGF will be there physically and the rest of us will be following KIGF on uh, uh, via Zoom, like we are doing right now, and uh, you 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 will be called out uh, during the graduation. Great. So ZB and Yvonne, you can you can remain back so that I can sort out your login issues. Hi, Thank Kevin. you so much, guys, for your active participation. I now take it back to Judy. Asante Nisana. Looking forward for a wonderful and interactive KSIC 2024. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Teacher Karis. Um, I'm seeing Nima, her hand is up. Uh, I would also like to just take the opportunity to thank you for joining us. Uh, my apologies, I didn't introduce myself. Myself is Judy Okite, part of faculty and uh, the administration at Kesik. Uh, I have been in the internet governance space for a good number of years. Uh, I first sat in a class like this um, with Diplo Foundation, and uh, from there I've never I've never really looked back. I do the internet. I teach within the internet society, internet governance. I teach. Uh, Internet governance within within Diplo Foundation. Um, so I can tell you that uh, you are in the right place. Give it your best, and you never know where it's going to take you. I'd like to um, invite Barack to close for us. Before Barack does that, um, anyone from Kicktonet here, uh, kindly introduce yourself and let us see you. Okay, if there's nobody from Kiktonet, um, Barack? Yes, David. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, indeed. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, so congratulations to the rest of the, to the ninth cohort. Uh, my name is David Ndeje. I will, I'm privileged to be working as a communications officer at Kicktonet. And uh, part of it is because I was among the second cohort uh, for KSIP. That's way back. And it just shows, it justifies what, um, what Rosemary spoke about during her introductory remarks. And 
I come from the communication stakeholder group, as Mwali um, Mutishakari was saying, but through through KSIC, I've been able to learn so much, and uh, currently learning, uh, I'm learning more about AI. I'm also uh, through the team, uh, through my colleagues at Kicktalent, I'm also learning more around digital accessibility, ICT, and how to make how to use ICTs in an equitable way. And also, I'm also uh, learning about uh, online gender-based violence and in the intersection around ICTs. So it simply means through KSIC, one is able uh, to see different ecosystems that uh, one never knew about or, or an area that might be of interest because the the ICT space keeps on changing it and every day in terms of inclusion. But uh, I'll be public one or two, three things from the rest of you people. And if you think you would also want to share uh, your experiences, your learning experiences or issues that relate to maybe your sector and how the new knowledge that you will be gaining, I'll be always available to publish it on the KIGF website, the same website where has the e-learning modules. And for those who are on the WhatsApp group, I was able also to share um, some golden rules on how you can also interact with each other and also how you can also be able to interact within the digital spaces. And for this particular year, we only have two because uh, the Kenya School of Internet Governance is, is part of the Kenya Internet Governance Forum Week. So for KSIC, it is KSIC, uh, KSIC 2024. And then we also have Kenya IGF 2024, Kenya with KE, also KSIC with uh, KE. So I hope we'll be engaging in case of any assistance from the communication side. I have seen also my colleague here, Nima. And we also have one of our own, She's also uh, participating as a cohort, as a ninth cohort, who also works with us within the communications desk. So all the best. Back to you, Barak. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Indeje. Uh, just a minute. All right. Uh, sorry been um, on the move, uh, but thank you everyone. And thank you, Judy and Teacher Karis for taking us through uh, that great introductory session for the 2024 cohort for the Kenya School of Internet Governance. Uh, on behalf of the faculty, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, uh, mine is to just to assure the team that uh, you have our full support. Uh, KSIG is one of the flagship initiatives of the Kenya ICT Action Network. And uh, many of the participants, including ourselves, have used the knowledge uh, to really uh, do groundbreaking things uh, with respect to the work that we do in public policy, uh, in uh, telecommunication or communications advocacy, and uh, very other many issues that are related to ICTs. Uh, I won't speak or say much today, but uh, I'm going to be very present uh, throughout the course, interacting with most of you and uh, sharing knowledge to the extent possible. Uh, and mine is to say that um, let this be the beginning of a long-term engagement or long-term relations. We want to encourage you to be active participants in programs for the Kenya ICT Action Network. Uh, to be active participants on the list. Whenever you see con conversations, uh, please contribute. Whenever you see the calls for comments uh, to parliamentary processes and many other processes, you are welcome to contribute. I'm sure after this, uh, you will be, for those who are not there already, you will be members of the bigger Kicktonet family. So that's it from me, but I look forward to a very, uh, engaging time with most of you. One last thing is my desire is to see each and every one of you graduate uh, from this course. 
So in the past four years or in the past years, I don't think we've missed out on anyone completing the course. So we really look forward to you also uh, successfully graduating. And when you go forth and do great things, uh, we hope you'll be available to inspire other generations that will come in the future who will also be learning. And we also hope that many of you will in future be industry experts or even support KSIG and the work of Kenya ICT Action Network in many other ways. With that, thank you very much. And I take the floor back to Judy. Uh, thank you once again for creating time to participate in the session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Barak, and thank you, everybody. Anyone who was not able to log in, please remain behind. As for the others, do have a, a blessed afternoon and a wonderful weekend, and we see you online. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here to support you if you're not able to log in. <laughs> mm. Hi again. Hi. Well, I was able to log in, but um, uh -huh. I the point where you say that someone has to, if mm. you haven't 